Buongiorno. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Salute. Hi, this is LG Petrov from Entum D, and you're watching and listening to Heavy Demons. Uh, Salute. So, dear Lars, how is this tour going? Are you enjoying this? Yes, as you can see. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Sitting here, another heavy metal day, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's going well. We're uh, all three bands and the crew are a good uh, bunch of people. Mm -hmm. We have uh, fun together, mm -hmm. you know, and um, every mm -hmm. night, yeah. sweat, headbang, <laughs> metal, and just uh, as it should be, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Like yeah, in the good old days, yeah. No? It's still the good old days. You still, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You never grow old. No, <laughs> no. So it's it's going really, really good. Yeah, I think, uh, despite you know, like death metal isn't normally associated with uh, positive uh, vibes, feelings. <laughs> <laughs> what well, entombed and entombed AD always deliver uh, a, a feeling of fun. You no, know, like fun recording the albums, fun on stage. Am yeah. I right with this impression? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, positive aggression, yeah. you know. Uh, of course, we can be mad, of course, yeah, but yeah. but uh, and but this um, aggressive uh, feelings we take out on stage. Mm -hmm. So when you come off stage, you're drained of all energy. Mm -hmm. So the only power you have is to have a beer and a smile. <laughs> <you know? laughs> and uh, you know, I mean, being being uh, angry all the time, it just tears you apart. Yeah. You know, so. We just smiling, and then it turns up like this. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's all good. It's all good. And uh, uh, Power of Earth is like uh, brings us back to the early days and the good old days, uh, but with uh, an amazing modern production, even if in a little studio. If I'm not. Uh, yeah, I mean, we recorded drums and stuff in a bigger studio. Ah, okay. And some guitars, and then we moved on to another. Smaller studio yeah. where we recorded uh, some guitars and some drums, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I don't think you can hear the difference. A little, maybe, maybe a little bit, but that's just uh, interesting. Yeah. When, when you when you let people hear if they can spot what what is the difference. But uh, so far nobody has commented on it, so it's it's great. It's uh, the new wave of uh, Swedish death metal. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that's where we feel young again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and the, with, with this new like technology, uh, how is the composition process of the songs changing? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy because I don't do anything. <laughs> 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 it's Guilherme here that does everything. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, if if somebody's good at writing lyrics, they do it. You know, and if somebody's good at doing uh, music, they do it. You know, I'm not personally. Uh, good at anything, maybe maybe sing or scream. So <laughs> I do I, I do this. So, so everybody comes together uh, as a unit, and uh, you know it's not important who does the music. You know, as long as everybody's uh, cool with it and have a good time while recording, and then uh, everything goes smooth, and then uh, it the, uh, the the album is a result yeah. of this uh, enjoyment. Yeah. And is there something you miss and you don't miss from the 80s, the 90s? No, I mean, we try to relive it yeah. as far as possible. Of course, we get older and the, the, the drinks get smaller. <laughs> but it's a way of life, you know. And being on tour is great. I mean, we've, we've released lots of albums throughout the years. And they, this is what, what we do yeah. and what we feel about to do. We release an album go on tour, rest a little bit, but uh, then you do riffs, you can do riffs and sound check, yeah. jamming, stuff, and then if something's good, you record it, save it, wait until you get back home, listen to it, you throw away 80% uh, and, uh, and keep the 20% yeah. and then uh, it's, uh, it's another cir cir circle, yeah. the cycle goes on. So. Yeah, very very good feeling. And and, and uh, uh, which are your memories of your days with Morbid and about Pele? That yeah, I mean, Pele was a great guy, yeah. very great guy. He was happy. Maybe had uh, some nightmares and stuff like this. But when I was with him, he was a great guy and always positive. We go into town, have beers <laughs> and stuff like this. So 
I don't know. Yeah, what happened happened. Yeah. Who, who knows? But uh, he was a really good person. Yeah. A really good person. <laughs> Salute. Salute to Pelle. <laughs> And uh, which are the lyrics? Uh, what, what are the lyrics of uh, the Bowers of Earth all about? I mean, the main themes. Yeah, I mean, mostly like it's been all your uh, entombed history. It's about life, being on the road, uh, you know, hearing people's uh, different stories when you meet people like yeah, like here and stuff, and people have uh, different memories of your of your show or growing up with. The, for example, Left on Path. Yeah. It's a very important, very important album to many people. The original edition. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, then you go home and just think through it and write your imaginations down there and it just goes. And then, uh, yeah, for this album, we, I mean, we didn't plan to do a you know, Back to the Roots album. It just came and uh, a big reason for this is Guilherme, yeah. which was here. He put a new input. He came in with a Bra Brazilian point of view, <laughs> which is like, <laughs> and it's great. I mean, it's like, and uh, now we have two guitars again with the HM2 sound, stuff like that. So, and trying to do it uh, uh, our way. Yeah. You know. So it's, we are really happy where we are at this. Yeah. At this point. Why did you choose to do um, a cover of Hank Williams? Good old Hank Williams. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I heard his name, but not the music. But then Nico was like, oh, let's do a Hank Williams cover and see how it sounds. And now when it's on the album, when I listen to the whole album, I don't react to it as being a cover. Yeah. I consider it our song because it just floats, floats by there. Uh, it's fun to try out different stuff. I mean, we did some boat recover, pile driver and stuff, which is uh, coming out here and there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, a good song is a good song. Yeah. I mean, if you can interpret it your way, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. And what, what, sh what shall we expect from the future of Lentum Day? Yeah, a lot of touring right now, yeah, on, a lot of touring, <laughs> but uh, we are continuously doing new music, you know, that's what, what it's all about, and uh, maybe in two years is, we have another one. People say, oh, it's like, oh, oh two years already, it's another, yeah, but uh, that's the way it was back in the day, you know, we release, like, uh, maybe uh, like uh, Unleashed, they yeah. release every year, <laughs> you know. It's, it's, and it's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great. It's good to keep it going. Yeah. And did you used to, to, to play Italy a lot with Antun the in the early nineties? Yeah, we had some. I mean there was not a lot of flying, you had, okay. had to take a van and then when you played you maybe you you flew down, take a van, and then fly home. But that's basically what we do these years too, you know. So try to book a couple of like uh, Milan or Roma. We have a Bari, great show there with Cagliari, great, great people there. So you can easily fit in a five or six show into into every country. You know, fly there, do a couple of, and then fly home. You know, uh, maybe during the weekend, and stuff like that. So it's <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> Always nice to come over here. And uh, what kind of music do you like to listen to outside, uh, you know, the heavy uh, metal or the death metal? Yeah, I mean, genre. right now I listen to the new album to get the lyrics yeah, yeah, inside my head because it's the, the IQ is not getting bigger, <laughs> it's getting smaller. <laughs> so it's a, it's a challenge. Yeah. But uh, yeah, mostly after a show or something, just go to bed. And of course, you have a couple of drinks and then go to bed. But uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, like a movie soundtrack oh, okay. and stuff like that. You know, young, young Carpenter. Yeah, of course. I've, I've very... seen him live uh, two years ago. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, 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 yeah, I would like to see that. <laughs> amazing, yeah. Just relaxing music, you know. Yeah. Or, or, or no music, because you just go for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's cool. So you have like one final uh, message and greeting to the Italian fans of Antonio Daily. Yeah, I mean, we love it. We love it here. It's good food, good 
drinks, <laughs> good heavy metal uh, audience, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, we we done some uh, good festivals here like Frantic and then uh, the other one I can't remember it now, but uh, hopefully we'll get some festivals here in the summer and come back and just drink and head back yeah. <laughs> and play music <laughs> of course. Yes, it's... Multiband. <laughs>